Hey, welcome back to another episode of Die Trying. Today I'm going to be making a bunch of mistakes. Stick around and see how I screw it all up. Alright, the first step here is to print out and start tracing whatever picture you want. I'm going with Cousin Eddie, but you go ahead and do whatever your little heart desires. Luckily my wife had a light table that I could use for tracing, but you could easily just tape this to a window and do it that way. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to transfer this tracing onto a 4x8 sheet of plywood, but my wife had this idea to use our projector. All I did was take a photo of the tracing and then put it on a flash drive and project it onto the plywood. I now had to trace all of the pencil lines with markers so I could see them while I was cutting them out. And I know what you're thinking, why didn't I just trace the whole thing in marker in the first place? And honestly, I don't know. I guess that's the first mistake of many I made in this project. Next, I grabbed my jigsaw and started cutting on all the outside lines. So once I had all the outside lines cut out, I had a couple options of how I could go about moving forward on this project. I think if I was going to do it again, I would get a rotary tool and some carving bits and just go over all the lines. So it gives it that depth without having to cut the whole project apart and glue it all back together, which is the option I went with on this project. It worked out great but it definitely was a bigger pain in the ass than it needed to be. Here you can get an idea of what using that carving bit would have looked like. I'm going over all the lines on the bathrobe with my router and an eighth inch bit just to give all the folds and creases a little bit of depth. So I gave the whole project a light sanding and then it was time to start painting. This is one of my favorite parts of doing these kind of projects. You really get to see what the finished product is going to look like once you start adding the colors. Now that the painting was done, it was time to start putting this thing back together. I grabbed some liquid nails, some quarter inch brad nails for my nail gun, and some quarter inch plywood to nail it to. And here's the next problem I ran into. The color of his skin. It was not good. Way too pink. So I grabbed some almond spray paint from the store and taped it all off and then painted over with that. And I also hated the almond spray paint, but I decided to press forward with the project and figure it out later. We're gonna press on and we're gonna have the hap hap happiest Christmas since Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny fucking K. Once I got everything glued and nailed down, I gave the whole thing a light sandy, and I started to notice that the pink and the almond and the skin tone were mixing together a little bit, and I liked that a lot more. It still wasn't what I was looking for, though. I used my router with a flush trim bit to go around the whole project, making all the lines clean. Now it was time to really get into the details of the face. I got out the projector and tried to line it up the best I could. I traced those lines onto the face with a pencil, and then using a paint pen went over it all. So after I had the face drawn on, I realized I needed some paints to do some shadows. So I went to the store and got some acrylic craft paint and gave up on the spray paint. I was pretty nervous to do this because it's not something I typically do, but I started mixing up some colors and trying to give it some shadow and some depth, and then I realized I hated the eyes. I used a hair dryer to dry the paint so I could move forward a little faster and got back to work. And this time I was very happy with the outcome. And even if I wasn't, I think I was pretty much done doing this. After that I sprayed it with a water-based polyurethane and guess what? The paint pen I had just painted over bled through. So I had to go back and touch the whole thing up. But after I finished touching it up, I was finally done with this part of the project. I decided Cousin Eddie needed a sign next to him that said Happy Holidays, so I'd use the same method to trace the Happy Holidays onto the plywood as I did for Cousin Eddie. But this time I moved into the bandsaw because it was smaller and easier to cut out on the bandsaw. Once I had it all cut out, painted it red, and moved on to making the frame for it. I knew I wanted the frame to be leaning, but I didn't know what angle I wanted. So I put one screw in each corner of the frame, measuring to make sure it was square. After that, I could tilt the frame to see what angle I like, 
and then fill in all the gaps. I'm essentially making a half lap joint without making any cuts. All right, I feel like I should pause this and just explain what a half lap joint is real quick. It's basically just two pieces of lumber where you remove half of it and then the pieces can overlap to create a strong joint like this. Now by layering up the wood for the Happy Holidays sign, I'm basically creating that joint without having to make the cut, as you can see right here. I hope that helps to make it a little clearer as to what I was doing with the frame. I went with a 15 degree angle on all my cuts and then I moved into the barn and started gluing it all up. After that I screwed in two boards, square with the top and the bottom, to attach my letters to. A quick sanding and painting and it was time to attach the letters. If I were going to do this project again, I would definitely use a rotary tool and I'd be buying acrylic paint right from the beginning. But this project actually came out exactly how I wanted it to. So if you're out there trying something new and you feel like it's not going well, just keep pushing forward. It'll probably work out in the end. It's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. I hope you can see what a silly waste of resources this was. Anyway, that's the project. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe or check out one of these other videos. And have a happy holiday season. Bye, see you again. And have a good dream. worked really hard, Grandma. So do washing machines. <laughs>